Hi Taurus, welcome to your past life reading for couples. Now, this is a um, life after the retrograde specials, okay? And let's take a look. What are your karmic debts, karmic ties? Are you with the right one? Is this your real soulmate? What are the things that you owe from your past life? And is this your real destiny? Is it your final stop? Or will there still be more to look forward to in the future? Let's take a look. He used to be one of the lawmakers during your time. You have a very strong faith, but you are very, um, it's like you're very concerned about financial security. Um, you were raised in a very poor family, so all you ever think is all about money, having a lot of money and this and that, this and that. And you have already forgotten some of the things that are also important, you know, in living and surviving. Now, you also have a very rich imagination, okay, or even ideas. You're very studious. You have that rich knowledge and wisdom that other people relied upon you. And whenever they needed something to know or whenever they have some questions, they just walk by you or they just, you know, ask you or approach you and they're going to get the answer. People look up to you and they really value, you know, the things that they learn from you. And uh, you also you love sharing your knowledge. OK, and um, you're not really part of the politics, but you are. It's like you're almost in that, you know, in that situation. And all you ever think is to secure yourself because you don't want to go through a lot of hardships and you don't want to be a slave or you don't want to be one of those, you know, um, well, let's just say that one of the indigent ones, okay? You have a very poor health because you have, because you, um, you were raised um, in a, you know, in a very poor family or in a like uh, you don't really have that much resources or finances in the past and you lived in a lot of fears because you have feared your father um you were also raised by or you actually grew up in the in the church or what do you call this like uh, guided by friars and um you were also you came first from the uh, from Greece or from Greek Roman or from Europe. You have talents in music and arts. You know, as I've said, that you're highly creative. But then the thing here is, you have led a life that's full of walls. You have led a life that's full of isolation and fear, and you feel like this is how you will be keeping yourself safe. All right, you're a well-traveled person. You know, you're. Um, because as, as I've said that people rely upon in your wisdom and uh, they all love you, you they all love you you know sharing your knowledge and then the, you know whenever they ask you something it's like they can get easily get an answer that they don't really have to go to the library or they don't have to read a book they just need to go straight to you and you will definitely know the answer okay and in your second life you were born in, in Egypt or in the Middle East but you have died in, in, a, in a ship okay um it is during it's during the civil war at the brink of the civil war and somebody just fired a canyon in your ship and you're one of the um of the victims or the um you know the, the people who drowned in the ship and there's nothing that you can do now your spouse right now used to be the mother of your kids and you used to live in a very you know simple simple life but you've you have very big land because as i've said that you're very uh, concerned about your financial security but even if this is you know even if this is the case you have it's like you used to be an ice person like ice man ice woman you're very cold you're very walled up you're so afraid of letting your guard down you're so afraid of opening up your emotions your heart because when you were younger 
Your father will just silence you whenever you say something or whenever you want to try and hug your father or whenever you want to try and talk to your father, cuddle with your father, just like any other kids. You've never experienced how it is to have a very caring father when you were uh, when you were younger. That's why when you've already had your family, you were also very cruel and mean and cold towards your spouse or towards your children. That your children feared you so much that just one look at them, they would just hide, you know, in fear there and, and, and uh, go to their mother. And then the mother can just do anything but look at you. You have cut off, you have cut off your heart and you have cut off your, your emotions um, away from everyone because you were, it's like there are a lot of traumatic things and events that you have grown and that you have witnessed as a young child and you're also driven into you know being a child laborer or to work at a very early age that while your your siblings and while other kids can play and run and you know under the sun you're there working you're there you have to help your father and you can't even look at those kids who's been playing because you never really experienced how it is to be a child yet you grew up to be very independent and uh, a person who loves to study a person who loves a lot of knowledge and who's always you know um, it's like your main treasure are your books and this is what you also want to pass on and uh, what you want what you want your children to learn more about life oh well, this is the good thing or this this is the good side but you lack emotions you never showed your emotions you never open up your heart you don't want to open up your heart and you're so afraid of letting anybody close to you even your own kids which is not really a good thing. You're a very fierce soldier or warrior that uh, you've won a lot of battles in the past. When you volunteered, you know, to be one of the military soldiers or one of the soldiers, sorry. And you've won a lot of battles that when it comes to the water, this is what actually defeated you. And this is what have ended your, you know, your life. Yet somehow... Right before you actually passed away, or right before you have ended your life, that is the time where you first notice and appreciated your children. That a few days right before you loaded into that ship to visit another country, to visit another city, you have made a promise to them, okay, that you will come back. But then right after that, you never made it back. Because that is already the brink of the civil war during that time. And I feel like you're also very, you also came from the long line of um, witches or uh, psychics. And you have, a, you have a very high intuition. Now your father have denied the gifts that they, uh, that they have before. And they don't want you to practice it yet. You have it in you. Okay. Now the main lesson here is you never showered anybody love. You never showed any compassion or affection. You never even It's like it's pretty much, you know, unimaginable how did you marry your wife knowing that they have married such an ice, you know, or like a tree and they can't even get anything from you except meanness or cruelty so as much as you want to express yourself you are so afraid of getting shut out or you know or you're so afraid of being rejected again that you it always comes back to you in your memories that you want to hug your father you want to get close to your father but he always shows you off he always shut you down he always rejects you or he always shouts at your face and you have grown up with that much trauma or traumatizing memories in you and that's why you're also pr you've practiced the same thing with your kids now in this lifetime 
if you are so afraid of committing, if you're if you're so afraid of getting married that you feel like you want to explore more, you want to know more, you want to go further, you want to meet other people, traditions, cultures, and you want to experience more life. It is because that you're so afraid of opening up yourself and getting hurt again or getting broken. You don't want to feel the pain. Okay? There are some family issues that you need to that you need to fix, which is, you know, forgiving about your father or raising forgiveness, giving forgiveness. And even though even even though before that you've had a very frail health and you've had a very poor health, you have tried to remain strong even in the mind okay and you have a very small build you never let your passionate side um, let out or be more out there and even when you marry the first person that you've fallen in love with you never really flirted okay it's like they're very stoic or you're very you know like stone-faced yeah and you don't even know how to communicate and i feel like it's not about it's not about deception or it's not about uh cheating but it's like you have deceived yourself because of your fears you have suffered from an unrequited love and you also made somebody feel that they uh you know that um you, you can't love them or that you can't really express yourself the your spouse before they just kept quiet and sometimes they also cry in a in a corner and uh, wondering why are you like this it's like you are a living dead or it's like you're a zombie you don't even smile and the person, the, the only person that you were once married to is actually your soulmate. And you've already shared even past lives in the past. But you need to free yourself up from the memories of the past or from the hurtful memories of your parents or, or your father. Because it's not really going to, you know, it's not going to help you in any way. If, if you will just learn how to let go of your baggages, if you will just let go of your you know of your problems of your traumas of your memories it's you will be feeling much more relieved um feeling better to love and you will somehow find it even more meaningful to live but while you are carrying all these baggages and grudges you know in darkness right within you you will always have that heavy feet heavy feeling and heavy heart okay and if you want to save the marriage or if you want to you know if you want to save the person that's with you right now you need to make the effort because your partner your spouse in the past they just you know kept quiet and cried in one corner but during at this time People will not just sit down in one corner and cry and weep or, you know, just swallow it. And then when they get out of, get out of their room, they will just feel okay, you know, or they will just say it's okay even though it's not. So some, some of you right now, you keep on either committing adultery or, you know, you keep on cheating on your partners because you're so afraid of getting close. You're so afraid of letting anybody close. You're so afraid of fa falling in love, feeling you let the other people, let the uh, other person feel the love from you or even care because you're so afraid that once you have cared enough or once you will, you know, give your all and give your love or lower down your regard it will just hurt you and it will just make you feel more vulnerable you know it's like you are removing the shell of a crab that's how vulnerable you are you will be naked and that's why you are having a hard time staying in a relationship being in a relationship and for some Tureans who have gone through a lot of failed relationships this is the reason why that you are so afraid of being rejected there are a lot of fears inside of you there are a lot of fears that's been like stopping you and standing your way 
only you can remove this and only you can overcome this but those people who's been loving you for real and who's been taking care of you or who really cares a lot for you they don't really deserve being shut out or you know or they don't really deserve being um rejected by you those people who loves you also need you it's not just you who have the needs it's not just you who knows how to get hurt and it's not just you who is so afraid of getting hurt the fear that you are you know like incurring in yourself you are infusing the same pain to other people because you fear of you know feeling being deprived and isolated and you never really enjoyed life so this is your way of getting back at you know at your at your father or, the, or at your memories that you never really experienced how it is to be a child so why will you let other people experience what life is you need to step out of the shadows of the past for you to enjoy life and for you to fully open up yourself to new potentials and to new happiness and you also need to explore life like how you really wanted it open yourself up open your heart up and it's time for you to you know to forget about the past and forget about what really happened because what's past is already past and you have to you know you have to learn how to forget about it and forgive some people who have hurted you in the past water under the bridge all right Anyway, that's it for you for this retrograde Taurus. And if you want to talk to me live in front of live or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website, sfeangel.net. You may also offer the same kind of reading, you know, past life reading for singles or for couples. And you may also book for past life regression or life coaching session. Okay. Anyway, please do visit my website and thank you for watching and subscribing. Blessings to you.